In this video, let's see the proof of the formula again of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y wherein since the conditions are different that means x less than 0 is given to me, y less than 0 is given to me and xy greater than 1 is given to me. So the formula also changes as we saw in the previous two videos the formula was tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. But in the second video which we saw there was something called as pi and here also we have pi but it is minus pi. So as the conditions change the basic formula also has to change and this is what we will be seeing in the proof that how the things vary with the change in the conditions. Let's get started with the proof. Keep it in mind that the proof is not very important but yes the formula you need to remember along with the conditions that in certain condition which formula to apply, in this condition which formula to apply and so on. Let's see. Suppose I have as in the previous videos assumed let tan inverse x is equal to a, tan inverse y is equal to b. If tan inverse x is equal to a, tan inverse y is equal to b, what do I have? I have x is equal to tan a, y is equal to tan b. And if x and y are already known to me and I also know one formula which I studied in class 11th that tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b and this is a formula so I will be keep it again in a box. Now what is the value of tan a? What is the value of tan b? As from the above step I can substitute x plus y upon 1 minus xy and here it is tan a plus b. Now keep it in mind what is the condition given for x and y? Where is x? x less than 0, y less than 0 that means both negative. Negative plus negative will give me negative only come downwards what about 1 minus xy xy is positive positive say 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 again negative what about negative upon negative minus minus do they get cancelled yes they get cancelled that means these both things will give me something called as positive and if this is positive so I have greater than 0 so I have greater than 0 so that means tan a plus b is greater than 0 and if tan a plus b is greater than 0 that means where in which quadrant do a plus b lie? a plus b basically lies in either first or third quadrant. So I have a plus b lying in first or third quadrant and I will be choosing any one of these quadrants. Let me choose third quadrant for my convenience. If I choose third quadrant I have something called as what angles? I have something called as minus pi to minus pi by 2. Let me write everything down to avoid the confusion. We are doing what? We are basically having tan a plus b as greater than 0. That means what? That means a plus b lies in which quadrant? Either in the first quadrant or in which quadrant? The third quadrant. So the first or the third quadrant. Choosing any one of these quadrants can be up to us. Let's say we choose the third quadrant. If we choose the third quadrant, I have the value of a plus b revolving and rotating about which axis or which angle it would be minus pi by 2 to minus pi. So minus pi by 2 to minus pi will be the angle. And again, now what do I need to do? I need to change certain things. That means if a plus b is given to me and I need to obtain minus pi later. So let me introduce pi at this very step. So I will be adding pi. So let me add pi and solve the rest here. So minus pi by 2 plus pi is pi by 2. a plus b plus pi is a plus b plus pi only. So it becomes pi plus a plus b. What is minus pi plus pi? That is 0. So I have the final range as pi by 2 to 0. Let's check what we did again to understand it better. I have something called as tan inverse x equal to a and b tan inverse y that we assumed. We have now values of x and y. We know the formula. So we substituted the values in this formula. So finally finding the range from these 
I got one thing to my knowledge that yes, my values for pi plus a plus b would lie in something called as what? They would lie in something called as minus pi by 2 to pi added with pi. So things change. Now you need to know one thing that yes, speaking technically you have additions of pi, but is 0 greater or pi by 2 greater? So we need to shift certain things. Hence we shifted this. So I have 0 here and I have pi by 2 here. Because when you add it, the axis would change. Definitely some things which becomes greater will become smaller eventually. Now 0 to pi by 2 is given to me. And what about tan 180 plus theta? Since it is always in the third quadrant and it is positive, so tan a plus b is same as tan 180 plus theta. And if these are same, what were the values basically? They were x plus y upon 1 minus xy. And if this happens, that means pi plus a plus b, if you want to know what is pi plus a plus b, what changes will you expect? Only one thing that the tan becomes tan inverse. So it becomes tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy and what is x? x as we already know was used here in the form of x plus y upon 1 minus xy obtained. This pi in positive goes to the other side becomes negative. So I have the right hand side already with me. So a plus b is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy minus pi. Now, what is A? A is assumed as tan inverse x. What is B? B here is assumed as tan inverse y. Just put the values. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy minus pi. Put the things in brackets, put the things in the box, wherever needed, whenever needed. So, in this video, we saw the proof, proof wherein the conditions of x less than 0, y less than 0, xy greater than 1 for tan inverse x plus tan inverse y.